Thank you, all you beautiful people out there. Welcome back to another episode of Tell Me Why. Let's go. So I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not ten years old anymore. He'll probably say he's too busy to talk. That's how he tends to avoid conflict. We're not looking for conflict. Just answers. <sighs> Let's be honest. Lately, that's been pretty much the same thing. I haven't been trying to pick fights. You know that, right? I just want closure. That's all. I know. I need some of it, too. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Hey, look what I found. <laughs> Aha, I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. <clears throat> All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' a statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back oh, to the station. Too. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Tyler! You don't have to whisper. You're in my head. <sighs> right. Apparently, Eddie's not in a great mood, so... What we said outside goes double. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be... 
Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof, I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so. <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. I got a mom. You said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too. Can you oh boy, fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack Lisa off. Hey, July is that your desk? Huh? I didn't think so. Different last Move name. on. Yes, right. <laughs> Sorry. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She says we can work later. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. She's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts? Man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Huh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. So I got your note. I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. I got so wrapped up with Tyler coming that it totally slipped my mind. I'll make it up to you, I promise. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Did you need something, Allison? Uh, yeah. Tyler, shall we? Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about her mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? <coughs> excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, 
You're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me, Dr. Torres? Of course. I woke up at five. Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? We stepped outside. It was still quite dark, but she spotted it anyway. Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. So is there anything I can help you with? But Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says it was a good kid. Busy day around here? No. The fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. So, Tyler. Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Greg, we just got here. Yeah, I know, but... We could use more people like him. I'm sorry. People like me? Well, yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh. And why not? We're shorthanded right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower <laughs> the average age around here, I guess. Where's Isabella now? At school. She's back at her father's house. Now, where was I in this report? Ah, right. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I'd better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. Everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Maybe we can check out that map of the building near reception. Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby, now. slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Oops. Tyler. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I better finish this or Wilson has a connection. All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. You head now? Uh, 
Yeah, gotta get going. Where's Allison? Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. Garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. Police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Oh, yeah, the community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the seating chart. Let's put the Vecchies next to. Can you not? If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. <sighs> Personnel files. Department budgets. Zeke Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. <sighs> Finally. Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Seriously? You're gonna try to hack- Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. into the washer so that can see how it works. <laughs> One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009?
Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So can you just write it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised you've lied to me in the past. No. That's what he said. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fire Week? Oh. It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. More back doors and secret moves. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. How old is Brown? Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? We spent hours playing next to this room. I see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. Pressing the wrong numbers. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Pressing the wrong numbers. Any idea? Look closely. Some of the keys should be more worn than others. I don't think that's the right order. Twenty-four different possibilities. How did that tune go again? Dum da di do. I'm sorry. I don't think I got that. Dum da di. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you never told me you had perfect pitch. Shut up. different possibilities. I don't think that's the right order. Yes. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty?
because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look. Nope. This one either. Uh, no, that's not it. Nope. Well, you know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught. So, <sighs> not this one either. That's not it. You finding anything? Just give me a minute. It's a mess in here. Come on, we need to hurry. So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. box well
boxes. the other references on the computer. Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Dello's Crossing Police Department. Dello's Crossing Police Department. Dello's Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It's my mom. She... She fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you there give me your There might be other references on the computer. Oh, Henry Rose. There might be other references on the computer. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Check out two thousand five two zero one five four six. 
Shoplifting? And that she had a shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but she said she'd already paid for them. Tessa also accused her of child neglect. What the hell? Is there any more to that? No, but I'll keep digging. Is zero five zero one C O N E B R. on the computer. Uh, 
already seen this one. Been there, done that. Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Proof, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Proof. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Uh, already seen this one. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It's my mom. She... she fell in the... Been there, done that. 
Shouldn't police reports be straight and to the point? R68 MISC. Coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey! Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family. You want to talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. 
Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plain supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. Right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. I don't know. Right there, she must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's going to take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust, but you've got a place here whenever you need it.
group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. Them as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later.